Right, I'm joined by um, Ipswich YouTuber Alex Griffin. So just first of all, tell me, where did the idea come from? Um, what, the YouTube? Yeah. Um, been doing it since I've been about 17. Go to Ipswich Games Home and Away, do some Rangers content. And we're nearly at 40,000, so we're, we're smashing it. Um, yeah. And obviously, a similar question to you asked me. Obviously, you bring in 2,000 today. How do you feel like the away atmosphere is going to be? It's a tricky one to just, I don't know. It's, uh, it's a Tuesday night. It was quite a long way, so... I think the atmosphere should be really good. We usually take a lot of numbers to away games. We're obviously second in the league. Um, we haven't got Sam Morsey or Lee Evans tonight, which is going to be a big loss. Um, but yeah, the atmosphere should be bouncing. And your last couple of performances have been absolutely amazing. So talk. Have you been to those games? Yeah, all the games. Talk us through what the atmosphere was like in those games. Unbelievable. Derby County at home. Coxie, my cameraman, standing there. He's nodding his head. Um, <laughs> The atmosphere on Friday night against Derby was unbelievable. We won 1 0. Um, but yeah, no, overall, mate, we're playing really well. Bit inconsistent sometimes. We lost to Lincoln, we lost to Plymouth, but tonight will be a really big test because we've obviously got a couple of players injured. So yeah. And sort of two in one question who's your favourite player and who's your best player at the moment? Um, my favourite player? Gosh, are you putting me on the spot here? Um, I'm going to say Sam Morsey, and he is our best player. That's why he's my favourite player. Right, and what's your favourite chant, Seamus, if oh, you ask me? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Blue Army! Yeah, cheers, mate. <laughs> I'm joined by Connor Humphreys. Connor, I know it's, is it your first start today? Yeah, first yeah, start. Yeah, first start and a debut goal. What must it feel like? Yeah, really good, really good. Um, yeah, I was obviously delighted to get the goal, but more importantly, it's a, it's a tough place to come and we've gone away with three points. And uh, for an 18, is it 18? 18. For an 18-year-old to already be on the verge of promotion, it must be something special. Yeah, I think we're just, it's, it's good to be part of the group. It's a really good group with a lot of experienced players that, that help me a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm just buzzing to be around the group. And that goal, that strike is sweet, isn't it, that one? Yeah, I don't think I've, I've hit a ball sweeter than that and I may never. And who's your man of the match today? Uh, Freddie Lazapo, two goals. He deserves them, he worked hard, so I'll give it to him. Cheers, mate. Right, I'm joined by Dave Worrell. Obviously, it's a big milestone for you, 500 appearances. How do you feel? Yeah, very tired now, but obviously <laughs> it's, a, it's a great achievement. You know, especially to get at this football club. It's my sixth season now. You know, 500 league appearances. You know, it's a um, it's a big milestone for me say uh, for myself. But just uh, just keep going now. I've plenty more games left. And then on a match performance today, how do you feel like the work you've been putting off off the pitch has come in today's game? Yeah, I had um I had three weeks, four weeks where I was on the bench coming on. Thought I was doing well. You know, creating stuff. But you know, I'm I'm old enough, and now I've got to work harder in training, work harder in training, show the gaffer. You know, I'm ready to start for when I'm needed, and um, that's what the last two weeks has uh, been based on for myself. You know, I've done well in training, worked hard, and um, you know, I've got my chance. You know, I've just got to keep um, plodding along and try and get a few more games. And what's the feeling like after that sucker punch in the dressing room? Yeah, it's tough, but you've got to realise we've gone toe to toe against the probably one of the best teams and squads in the league and we've um, we've gone close but you know that's what happens if they get chances they'll score you know they've got people on championship wages and you know, a lot of money you know and we're this football club you know won't be run like that you know we do things properly but you know we're closing the gap and that's the main thing is we keep closing the gap and uh, we'll start turning them into wins you know we give them a better game than some teams like Derby so that's got to be something that we hold our heads high for I don't think it's which will have a tougher away game than that this season at all. I think they know, you can tell the way they celebrated, it was a tough night for them. Uh, they didn't enjoy it, we, we stuck to our game plan and it worked, but you know, they got the win, we got we lost. But we move on to home game now. Right, cheers Dave. Cheers, see you later. See you. Right Nathan, what's the feeling like in the dressing room after that? Um, like I say, we, after a loss everyone, we're a bit down, but I think Tomorrow, maybe Thursday, we'll look back and we can take positives from the game. I mean, they've arguably got the biggest budget in the in the league, and we've gone toe to toe. And and maybe another night we, we come away with something. But at the moment, obviously, after losing a game, the lads are disappointed with all the work and effort we put into it. To come away with nothing is is a bit disappointing. But like I say, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of positives um, when we, we look back and analyse it. And what's the difference between what Daryl said at half time compared to what he said at the final whistle? It was just reiterating the same the same message: stick to the plan. Next goal's key. Um, like I say, we, we scored just as we go in, into half time, which puts us in good stead and, uh, and makes us believe that we, we, we can go on and, and get something from the game. But like I say, we, we had a game plan, we stuck to it and we nearly executed it well and, and come away with something. But like I say, disappointed not to get something from the end, which shows how far we've come in such a short space of time. 
Were you surprised when you scored a goal with your feet? I mean, the, the expression on your face, you looked it. <laughs> yeah, um, it's, it doesn't come around often for me scoring, scoring with my feet, especially in that sort of manner. But like I say, um, nice to get on the score sheet. Uh, would have been a bit nicer if it, if it actually meant something and got some points from it. But like I say, there's got to be positive to take from it. And, and we, we, go, we go again Saturday and, and if we get a win, six point week, I'm sure uh, the majority of people would be happy with that. And who's your man of the match today? Man of the match, Dave Wall, never stopped for a second, up and down. Uh, go for Dave. Cheers, Dave. No problem.